This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at everything you need to know about the new die system in Conan Exiles. We're going to talk about how you get the dies and how you make them and all that good stuff. Everything from start to finish. So let's get to it. So if we go into our inventory here, there's a few recipes that you're going to need to learn in order to make dies. So to start off, you're going to need your apprentice craftsman. That's going to lead you into the black blacksmith and you are also going to need to unlock the experienced survivalist that's going to allow you to unlock the journeyman craftsman and then finally you're going to need the fireball cauldron now that that's the items that you're going to need initially and you're also going to have to craft the furnace and you're going to have to craft the blacksmith's workbench so that's everything you're going to need in order to get set up just to craft dies once you have all of that stuff we're going to come over here and I'm going to place down the blacksmith's workbench. I actually popped it up because it constantly makes that sound like it's pounding on metal and it was getting on my nerves. So there it goes. It's starting already and I haven't even placed it. Anyway, you're going to need to start off with your blacksmith's workbench. And you're going to come over here and when you learn that whole recipe, it's going to give you this here, which is the glass flask mold. You're going to need to create one of those. So you just throw some iron in there and you can see that it's only going to cost you 15 iron and then you're going to click craft and you're going to craft one of those up and once you have one of those and i'm going to go ahead and just destroy this because to be honest that sound drives me absolutely insane uh, once you have your mold, you're going to come over here to your furnace. In your furnace, you're of course going to need coal to power your furnace. You're going to put your flask mold in here and you're going to need a bunch of this crystal. Once you have the coal, the glass flask mold and the crystal in your furnace, you just turn it on and it will turn all of your crystal into glass. And if we go ahead and pull that out, you can see that it changed our crafting queue down here to the glass flasks. So I'm going to pop that off and I'm just going to toss this stuff in here for now to get it out of my inventory so we can keep a nice clean inventory so nobody gets confused on anything. Now, once you have your glass flasks, you're going to need to find a source of water and you're just going to go to that source of water and activate them and however you choose and you will see now that they are filled glass, water filled glass flasks. Then you have, now that you have those, you're, you're almost there. You're almost to making dyes. It's, 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 it, we're getting there. You're going to need the fireball cauldron and this is where the actual dye process takes place. Of course, you're going to need wood to fuel this thing and then you will put the glass flask in there like so. Now we are at the step to where all you have to do is add the specific ingredients to create the dyes that you want. Now I have all of that broken down into this chest right here to show you what crafts what. Now I have full stacks of these items so this is the you know full stack of those they stack to 20 those stack to 20 so on so on so on and then the amount of dye that you see here is the amount of dye you get for a full stack so th this stuff kind of varies a little bit from each one and it's kind of weird in my opinion how they did it for example you can see that the brimstone makes the yellow dye so 200 brimstone is going to get you 40 yellow dye so if i split this stack here and we take exactly 100 and we take exactly 100 i mean I'm sure you can do the math, but I just want to show you 100 brimstone is going to equal 20 yellow dye. However, if you look at, at the uh, orange ficus, I guess that's how that's pronounced, you get they only stack to 20 and it gives you 20 dye. So your ratios vary from each thing. If you come down here and you look at the green dye, it's made from the plant fiber. 100 plant fiber only gets you five green dye. It's, it's weird. The seeds you know 100 seeds get you 20 but, but seeds and plant fiber in my opinion like you get more plant fiber than you usually do seeds so it's weird that they do that that way and then if you come down here bone stack to 100 tar stacks to 100 you get 20 light um, dye colorant for 100 bones but you get 33 dark for 100 tar i don't know if they did it on like how hard the stuff is to get or I don't know it doesn't really make any sense the ratios so here are the ratios and the items you need the co coconeal I guess that's how that uh, if I butcher any of these I apologize 
I'm not the best with the words and the things. So anyway, 20 gets you 20 red die. 20 of the orange ficus gets you 20 orange die. You're going to need 20 of the glowing goop to get you cyan die. 20 of the false mandrake will get you purple die. 200 brimstone is going to get you 40 yellow die. The gray flower lupin, lupine, lupin, uh, 20 of those, 20 die, and that gets you the gray die. Uh, true indigo that gets you 20 so 20 and 20 there plant fiber of course five green dye seeds make the brown dye 100 to 20 and then we already discussed these bones get you light gray colorant or, or light dye colorant I'm sorry and then 100 tar gets you 33 of the dark dye colorant these here are what swap these to the light and dark versions of themselves. So these are your base, and then these are the colorant versions. So let's get to creating the dye. I have set up over here, I have some random goods. Let's just throw, let's do half of those. And um, then we'll grab some colorant as well. So all you have to do once you have your water-filled flask in the uh, cauldron and you have your fuel in there, you turn it on. Now it's going to start to burn, but it's not going to do anything. We're going to drop the mandrake in there, and you can see now that it is crafting the purple dye. We're going to let that craft up. Now, all we have here, this is just base purple dye. So we're going to pull that out, and we're going to put this in here, and this is going to make our... Um, dark colorant so this will give us the dark variant of the item actually I'm gonna go ahead and grab some bones too so I can show you the light variant color of the item as well so you can see that we have three that's fine I'm gonna pull those out for now and we'll pull that out and we are going to throw some bones in there and we're gonna let three of those craft up real quick and then we'll go through and I'll show you each of the different versions. So we're not gonna use all three of those, but it's fine. So we're gonna just drop one of those in there for now. We're gonna pull these out so there's no confusion. So right now in my crafting uh, bench here, the Fireball Cauldron, I have, for some reason that's a mouthful for me to say, we have just one purple dye. Now if we want the light variant of that, all we have to do is drop one of the light dye colorants in there. You can see that it empties the flask so you get your original flask back which is really nice and then you get your light purple dye now we can do the same thing for the dark variant so we're going to drop in just the base color and then we're going to drop in one of the dark dye colorants and once again we get our flask back and now we have the dark purple dye so we're going to go ahead and pull that out now let's talk about dyeing items how do you dye them where you know what dyes what and all those different goodies so we're just going to take all of this out of here actually let me go drop off these bones real quick we don't need those in our inventory anymore so let's talk about dyeing items i got a bunch of different types of dye here and i got a bunch of different types of um let's sort by type so here you can see the different types of dye that we have. We also have some water, but that's fine. And you can see the different outfits that we have. Now, each of these outfits dyes differently, and depending on the material, depends on how dark the dye is going to look. And it, it, it all varies from item to item, basically, is what I'm trying to say to you here. So to dye an item, if it's on you, you just click it, and then dye shows up down here. To dye an item that's in your inventory, you click the more and you click dye and that's going to pop up this menu here which is your dye menu this is going to show you all of the different dye options you have notice that the light and dark color variants do not show up here those do not actually count as dyes those are specifically for changing your dye to its light or dark form and once that's done there's no going back if you change it to light it's stuck light and you have to use it now, if we want to color this, say, uh, let's color this base part purple, you click on it like that, and now our base part is the purple dye, and when you click them, it shows you what color that you're using and what color you've selected, so we just selected light purple for that, and sometimes you can, you know, you can click and spin this, but sometimes it's hard to tell what's what, so like, you might want to just play around with the different colors so you get something that stands out. You can see right now we're dyeing the braids on the rope there, it looks like. You can see a slight change 
in color when I click those, um, and then you know so on with and so on with the other ones. It looks like everything else on this, these two are just the uh, rope of braids. So we're gonna hit cancel because I don't want to use any of that dye just yet. And let's go on to this face mask here. So we have the. Um, Defari speaker mask and you can rotate it to see what it looks like in 360 now all of our colors here are currently like off whites and whites let's dye that up let's throw a little orange in there now nope. let's throw some green in there you can see what we're dying there is the whole back piece and you just go through and select and you can see that the purple looks different on the different types of material that we have there changes the the how dark it looks it barely looks purple here but definitely it looks purple there and then of course you can just go through and click each of your different item or different sections and dye them up to have it look the way you want now some items don't have a lot of selections some items may only have like one or two some may have a ton let's take a look at this one this one has four and I think I think it's my gloves was the one that only has one yes so if we take a look at the gloves here they only have one option so there's only one color that you can dye them and that's it not a ton of customization but if we take a look at something like the medium harness and we dye it you get four color options on it the shoes here the shoes have three color options which is kind of nice and uh, this one here even though it is a chess piece only has three color options which you would kind of expect it since the other ones that have four to have four but it doesn't so that's something to keep in mind especially if you're trying to plan out a um, outfit for your clan and color options and stuff like that for your clan guild whatever the heck you call them in in this game I don't know what they're called anyway uh, let's see here so this one you can see that the purple looks totally different and you have four color options for this helmet but these color options show up pretty pretty good like they're pretty decent size color option or um, colorable areas so you can really customize the look and feel of that one and I think that is pretty much everything that there really is to cover about the new dye system. So get out there, dye up your uniforms and all of that good stuff. And let me know in the comments down below what you think about this new system. I think it's freaking great. As you can see, the outfit that I'm wearing here now, I've completely colorized except for the gold um, finish on the out, you know, the bands and all that stuff. I liked the gold, so I left that the same. But, you know, I kind of did the fire spark colors of the red, orange, and uh, uh, yellow anyway before we go I want to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters thank you so much for all your support as well as to the fans out there thank all of you so much you are all amazing people and I could not do this without you if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching